the origin of the clarinet sound in um, um, the Middle East, especially the ancient Middle East, among the Sumerians, the Egyptians, the Greeks, the Hittites, the Hebrews, you name it, all the Middle Eastern people going back 5,000 years to the silver pipes of Ur, which I've already done a video on. The um, cylindrical bore produces uh, what is known as the acoustics of a stopped pipe. That is to say, the sound wave that's generated goes back and forth twice inside the bore. Now, if it was a cone, it would only go right out without going back into the bore. But because the reed acts as a stop, like on a pan pipe, um, this principle of a closed, closed uh, uh, bore um, gives it a very deep, low tone. And this uh, is a feature going forward into clarinets. So the origin of the clarinet sound was in the ancient Middle East. The um, ancient Greeks called this the monolos, the single alos. Usually aloe were played in pairs, but they also played them in a single instrument with two hands, which gave you quite a lot of range. So, an ame, which is, this is the aname, this is the large size Turkish uh, ame from modern Turkey. Um, you know the reeds in tune if it does this. Now they actually use macombs on this note here, this note here, and this note here. So they don't really use the lowest note as a macomb generally. Um, but it's very interesting in Chinese sona, they have that same kind of thing where this fingering is the note you start on on the sona, which shows in a way to me it's, it's um, Middle Eastern origins that it went from the west, east, to China, and the sona players uh, start their scale on this, and then they have the kind of the throwaway notes at the bottom, the the three notes just leading up to the tonic or tonal center. So, could you tell us about the reed? Oh, this is a natural occurring reed. A lot of them is uh, rhodophragmites, also a rhododonax, and it's been shaped. Originally, it was uh, part of the stem of the plant and it's been constricted and shaped into a double reed. So, and then it has this little thing to constrict it so that you can tune it. So anything below this, um, this uh, um, we call it a collar in, in Irish piping, the uh, reed has a collar. So this has a collar that's pretty much close to the end. So the actual area that's vibrating the notes is only this little area right here on the reed. And so it's a double reed. Um, it'd be hard to actually see the two reeds clapping together, but I'll do it with my hands. Essentially you have two, um, let's see how we would do this, two uh, tongues and they're just opening and closing like this. And that sends a pulse of air down the bore of the tube and the longer the column of air the lower the note. So we put the reed in the socket here and uh, start out the highest note. 